All right, so we're going to do the Word project, and we are using Microsoft Word 2010. You can find out what version of Word you have if you go to File, and then somewhere under File, you'll see Help. And then you can see in Help here that it's Microsoft Office Professional 2010. So that's the version we're using. And uh, the first thing we want to do is create our title page. So I'm going to type my title up here, uh, The Shining. Uh, by Todd McLeod and uh, so type that on the first page and then the next thing you want to do is you want to create a section break and you go to page layout breaks section break next page and uh, notice you have a page break right here but that's different than here so section breaks and there's the next page section break so I insert that and I actually have two pages now so if I come down here to the zoom you can see the two pages. I'm down there with the zoom. And uh, over here on the right, I'm going to create my table of contents. I'm just going to type TOC, table of contents, TOC to hold that positioning for now. And uh, the reason I want to do a section break is because if I went and I looked at turn on my non printing characters right there, I could see it says section break. And that would be different than if I inserted a page break, it just say page break right there. Right? So I want to make sure I have a section break. And section breaks allow you to do different formatting to each section. So we're going to use that when we insert our footnotes so that we don't have footnotes on the title page. We'll say, hey, only apply it to the section, second section. And you could also do things like page orientation. Like I could come in here to this one actually right there. You click this little drop down arrow right there, page setup. I can say, hey, make it landscape and just apply it to this section. I could say the whole document, but I just want this section. So I was able to apply landscape formatting to the second section, whereas the first section stayed portrait. I'm going to hit undo up here. Just kind of wanted to demonstrate the value of sections. Going back to my title page, I highlight my title. And I come here and I click to have it horizontally centered right there. And I go back to page layout and I click on page setup to get the dialog box right there. And I go to layout and I go to center vertical alignment. And so now that's just the classic way of formatting a title in the center of a page both horizontally and vertically. Do you guys all grab that or you need me to do any of that again? Got it? Okay, cool. So there's, uh, there's that first part. Now I've got my table of contents here, where my table of contents is going to go. I'm going to insert a page break right there. So now I've got a page break. So I'll have my title page, I'll have my table of contents. And now down here is where I'm going to write the body of my paper. So I can scroll down there. And I can, if I wanted to, I could type some phrase. or I don't care about the content. All I care about is the form is uh, how does it look. So you could type whatever you want. You could type uh, the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. You could type all work and no play makes Jack a dull bullet boy. So you could type whatever you want and then you know I could just highlight this and I'll make sure I don't get that paragraph mark. So I just use that. Control C and Control V, Control V, Control V, Control V. So there's a paragraph. Now I could highlight this paragraph. Control C to copy it. I'm hitting Control C on my keyboard. And now I could hit Control V and I could just insert paragraphs. So now it's just filling up pages with text. So eh, that's plenty of text right there to make my document work. Alternatively, if you don't want to type anything, you could also sometimes type in this little nifty trick. I just turned off my non-printing characters. You can type the equal sign. Let me make this a little bit bigger. And you can type RAND and then in parentheses just put two numbers separated by commas. It be whatever numbers you want. And hit enter and it fills in a bunch of random text about my software. So that's another way you could do it. But I'm going to hit undo because I don't really want that text in there. I like the all work and no play. So that's the first thing is to get uh, get text in there. And if you look at our document from bird's eye view, it's starting to look like a good paper. Next thing I want to do is I want to insert uh, some headings. 
So I might have a heading called introduction. And if I go to my home ribbon, I then have this formatting here. And I'm going to select that and format that as heading one. And I could come down and type in another heading and call it hypothesis heading one. Just making these all heading one, just formatting them all with that style heading one. Uh, I could type in another one here and call it research heading one. Mountain resorts. What's going on? Hey, uh, how are you? I had a couple questions, but I don't yeah? have my computer with me, and so I can okay. wait till another time. All right. Uh, if you want to stop into 127, we'll be back there in 10 minutes. BE 127, if you want to just hang out. Okay. All right. So I put in my, my second heading there, or another heading there, Mountain Resorts. Just, you know, you just want to get a couple of headings and conclusion. Uh, put in another one there, make it heading one. So why, why do we like headings? Well, one reason we like headings is when we come up here to create our table of content, and now I'm going to delete the TOC I entered there. When we go up there, we go to References, Table of Contents, and you can see it builds it off of Heading 1, Heading 2, Heading 3. Indeed, if you come down here to Insert Table of Contents, you could choose to be like, hey, only work off of Heading 1, or we're Heading 1 and Heading 2. You could choose how many levels deep it goes. So the point being is it builds your Table of Contents off of whatever is formatted as heading one. So I just click that and it puts in my table of contents. And it automatically puts in the page numbers, it does the nice periods. Whatever you do, do not do this. And then like hold down your period key and then put in the page number. That's the wrong way to do it. You just automatically build it. And the reason you like that is because look, that first thing is on page, this is on page four right now, but what if we added more content right here and we pushed research now down a couple of pages, right? So now research is who the heck knows where, way down here. So it's no longer, it's no longer on, it's no longer on, research is no, or hypothesis is no longer on four or whatever. Watch the page numbers change. I click this, I choose update table, update the entire table, and it updates the page numbers for whatever page that content's on now. So that's one reason we like styles. Another reason we like styles is because if I wanted to change all of the headings to look a little bit different, I could go here, I could go to change styles, which so I'm gonna click this little drop down arrow and it brings up the styles pane. I click that arrow right there, it brings up the styles pane. I choose heading one, I could choose modify, and I could say, hey, instead of blue, I want it to be red. And, uh, and then I have to choose automatically update, okay. And now all of the heading ones everywhere are red. So it allows you to kind of control the look of your document without having to I'm going to get rid of some of that content without having to update everything manually. Make sense? Yeah. All right, so we got our title page, we got our table contents, we got our body text, we got our headings. Next thing that's really good to know about is inserting citations. And, uh, you know, when you write papers, you're going to have quotes from people. Um, you know, so let's say I found this quote here somewhere. And I go up here, I just click at the end of the quote, and I say insert citation as I'm writing my paper, add a new source. And uh, this, this quote came from, uh, sure, an article in a periodical. And it came from John Jingleheimer, Heimer, John Jones. Let's just go with John Jones. And Stephen, uh, the shining as literature. Periodical title, Newsweek, year 2010, month, February, day 6, pages 38 through 42. Okay. All right. So now it inserted that right there. And you might be like, well, what if I don't want it as MLA? Well, you could do APA. And now it formatted as APA. 
or you know you go back to MLA or all whatever kinds you like. And let's say this is another quote right here. So you just want to make sure you have like two or three sources. And I put in our quote there, and this one I just choose add new source. This is actually from a book. The author is well. Let's see. The author is Quinn. Stevenson, <laughs> whatever, and it is uh, analysis of literature, and it's 2008, and it's published in New York by Houghton Mifflin, whatever, Mifflin, Mifflin. Okay, and now it added that source in, and then I could do one more. And let's say this is something I found somewhere on the web. Insert a citation, add new source from an electronic source. Author, James Monroe. I think I already used a James. James is in my mind. Title, uh, Extending liter Literature's Reach. City, Fred, well, let's do San Francisco. Cisco, state or province, Cal. I don't know what all this has to do with the electronic source. I don't know. So, well, whatever. I was looking for a website. Website, that's what I want. All right. Name of website, World Wide Web, literature.com, year 2010, uh, January 19th, year access, 2010, January 19th, World Wide Web literature.com forward slash books articles review.cfm whatever the URL is I just made it up so now it's got that but I've kind of got it in the wrong place I like them at the end so I'm going to try to move that and see if I can grab it and bring it down there there we go so there I've got three sources and let's say oh I uh, quote something from that book again so I just click right here and instead of adding a new one, it's from it's from that. Okay, it's from that. Oh, this quote was from, you know, this source again, right there. So I don't have to retype those. And then when I'm all done, I just go to the end of my document, hit enter, go to page layout, put in a new page break. So I did that a little quick. Page layout, a new page break. And then when I'm there on this new page, just so you can see what's happening, let me pull back a little bit. All right, I'm on this new page here. I could go to references, bibliography, insert a bibliography or works cited, and there it is. So again, really handy. And if I want it to be MLA instead of APA, I just go there and it changes it. So our paper's looking pretty good, pretty quick, for only 13 minutes of work. We've got a title page, we've got a table of contents, we've got a body text, we've got headers formatted as heading one, and we have a works cited, uh, you know, and it could be APA or MLA. Can you do the works cited again? Works cited is uh, you just go to, go to the end of your document, insert a page break, right? So I inserted a page break after this stuff right here, so I got a blank page, and then made sure my cursor is at the top of that blank page, and then just went to bibliography and chose works cited, and it just builds it off of all of the all of those things that you've inserted yeah good question all right so the next thing I might want to do is throw a few pictures in there so to do that I could start a web browser and just go to Google let this load anybody have anything they want to see pictures of dogs, chickens, beaches, Maldives. Let's go to the Maldives. I go find pictures that I like. The Maldives are going to be the first islands to disappear, be flooded by global warming. And uh, I'm just going to pick pictures. That, oh, I'm going to choose a size. Well, it doesn't matter size. I'll go with medium size. Let's see what comes up. Uh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Three pictures is enough. So where did my picture go? Can I copy that? No. Let's just try this one. Copy. Copy image. Copy image. Go back to my paper. 
click somewhere in my document. So I'm clicking right there. And paste, control V to paste it. I don't know what just happened. There we go. And then when I click my picture, I get sizing handles around it. So I could scale it down a little bit, make it a little smaller. I could go to format and wrap text and choose for the text to write, wrap around it in a tight fashion. So the text will now wrap around it. So there's one picture. And I could go get another picture. Copy image. Click here. Control V to paste. That's V is in victory to paste. Control V. And go back here to formatting, wrap text, type, and position it. And I could actually also uh, add a little drop shadow, which makes it look nice. And so just put a couple of pictures in. So that, that's good for pictures. So let me close my browser. And uh, what else do we want to do? Now we just want to do headers and footers so that we could put page numbers and our name and stuff like that on every page of the document except the title page. So uh, that's somewhere. I don't know where. I always got to look for it. Uh, references, mailings, review, insert endnote, footnote, captions, index, citations, headers and footers. Maybe it's right on the home page. Oh, right here, header and footer. So I've got my headers and I have my footers. So I just uh, click on like, okay, I want to have a blank header. So I click on that. And when you click on that, it takes you kind of into the header footer editing area. And you can see here, header section two, same as previous. Footer section two, same as previous. Well, what's the previous section? It's section one. Well, I don't want anything to show up on section one. So while I'm clicked and inside you know, header section two, I click this link, take off link to previous, and now you see it no longer says header section two, same as previous. The footer still says that, so I click in the footer and take off link to previous. Otherwise, I'm going to have things on the title page, a header and footer on the title page, and I don't want that. All right, so now I could actually go to the title page, and this text that was here, let me just show you two pages at once. Oops, I just had it. I could delete this text, right? And since it's a different section, this text still stays here. So uh, I'm going to delete that. I'm going to go to my home. I'm going to center this, and I'm going to call it the shining, and then uh, and then put my name. Eh, I kind of misspelled shining. And actually, you know, I think I'll actually left put this on the left. Or actually, first thing I'll type is McLeod. Todd, like that's my name, right, as a student, and then the shining over there. And then I'll go down to my footer, and I could type, you know, CIT 15, section number 38917, whatever section you're in. And, uh, and then right here, over on the right, I could come back to design and page number, and put page number in the current location and make it look like this look. And now I'll just put the page number. But I want this to start on page one right here. So I could click that. And so instead of it saying two, I come down here and I right click that number and I choose format page numbers. And I say start at page one. So now this title page, this table of contents becomes page one, which is fine. And I close my header and footer and we can look at the document. And uh, it's a good looking document. I've got a header, a footer the section I'm in, the page number, you know, that's a, that's a good looking paper. So that's kind of how you create your paper for uh, any class. Make it look good. Might add a few more pictures and arrange their layout in there because pictures, even teachers like picture books. Too much text on one page. We're like, oh, I got to read all that. We want to look at pictures. So if you have a good looking paper, it's going to help you get a better grade. And that is a uh, that's creating a bomb paper in 20 minutes or less. You guys have any questions? I know that kind of all went fast, but did the review help? Yeah. Yeah? All right. So well, the video will be online here pretty in a day. So if you need to watch it again, you can watch it again.
Thank you.